All right, guys, so the hitch has been started, and hopefully I can finish it today. So we need to finish all the welding all across here on the top, the bottom side. Same thing on this side, about 15 inches of weld. I need to cut out two plates that go here, one on, one, one on each side, and um, weld some uh, D-rings in there. Figure out uh, where I'm going to put these braces, you know, how far apart I'm going to put them on there. Some braces for this side, weld the other center, um, the other inner uh, four inch channel there to reinforce it so I can have more of a weld area here and um, just keep moving forward and just a little sneak peek, the box is in. Seventy eighteen uh Hobart. All right guys, it's kind of quiet. Um, I ran out of gasoline and I got the truck over here and I got this, then I got this, then I got that. So I gotta move all this. So I'm gonna get some gas cause I don't have any gas cans. But um, I think the welds are coming out pretty good. All right guys, I'm in the Mustang and we got a gas station here on the left. And uh, on the right side, we got tractor supply. So we're gonna pick up a gas can, maybe a five gallon if they're cheap. Um, then pick up three to five gallons here at the gas station and whatever miscellaneous junk we find. So, and we're about to arrive at our destination. Good thing tractor supply is only a minute from the house or a minute and a half. All right, guys, we're here. Let's go get a gas can. All right, guys, I got four gallons of gasoline here. 14 bucks for this jug and 35 bucks for 10 pounds of electrodes there. Next thing to do is uh, put gas in this baby and uh, let it roll. All right, guys, I got a little small half inch weld here all across, some few tack welds. And I'm gonna flip it over and just get to it. All right guys, so I just flipped this over. As you can see, that's the penetration weld from the opposite side. So I'll just give it a, go ahead and give it a one good pass all the way around here and um, we should be good. Three passes on the back and that pass another one over we should be good all right guys so I got both sections clamped on there drop it in place and it'll be the same thing tack the bottom there because it moves and um, just wad it up
All right, guys, my camera turned off. Like I was saying, uh, I just need a probably use like a little grinding stone or something, to kind of clean it up, and it looks pretty good. Hey guys welcome back as y'all can see everything's nice and clean now i got rid of a lot of the buckets i had there cut the grass and stuff have all my cables on that side have uh this thing uh welded up and i had some concrete that i poured here many years ago and it was covered with dirt so now i can kind of you know get under the truck if i need to and um not get all dusty Here's the toolbox strapped on the side, and I put these uh, ang wires here. So I just gotta put a clamp on the on this outer side. I give it a a coat of primer on there because a lot of stuff is uh, getting more corroded, and it'll make things easier if I can get it covered right now. So. All right, guys, it's gonna be a quick pass here just to cover most of the stuff. This is some good stuff. It's uh, used on heavy rusted metal. I've used it before. This is light rust. Um, I used some paint thinner on the rag. Once I gave it a quick sand and a wire brush, took off whatever I could of the grease and the dust and uh, gave it a one coat. I just got this little section to go here. And then uh, I'll jump to that side, clean it, and I'll work myself to the center there. I'm just trying to get it all covered up, you know, in the next uh, two, three days. So, all right, guys. All right, guys, I'm not the best painter, but there's a lot of uh, paint drip everywhere, which is perfectly fine. It'll prevent the rust from coming out uh, sooner. As you can see, my painting skills. So now I got to clean this one up a little bit. And I can put the center section there for the the gooseneck hitch. And um, well, I actually have to unbolt this and uh, weld, um, weld these brackets in place before I paint this. I don't want to do it with uh, the gas tank here. Got some slag on there. There we go. 